Hey guys, Andy here. So we're taking a look today at this Lipo 15.6 inch USB Type-C portable display. So in the box you get a screen protector, which honestly I've not bothered applying, it's not like the thing's going in my pocket. We're getting a Type-C to Type-C cable, which I am using, and we're getting a HDMI to, I think that's the micro HDMI, and then a Type-A to Type-C, which in theory you can use for charging, and then a actual charging brick to, uh, well I say charging, the screen hasn't got a battery in, but you do need to power it sometimes. Um, the screen itself comes with a case, which is why I've not bothered putting the screen protector on. It's actually quite light. I think it's less than 2 kilos. I think it's like 1.7 kilos. And the case sort of sticks with magnets front and back. And then you can kind of, you can almost lean it anywhere. There are two ridges for set positions, but it's quite a sort of sticky inside. Not sticky, but there's good resistance. So you could probably stick it anywhere. So we've got a 3.5mm headphone jack, we've got a USB Type-C and the micro HDMI on one side and on the other side is the power and sort of back button, the up down switch and another USB Type-C. The Type-C on the HDMI side is the data port, well data and charging, I think they call it multi-purpose, which is what I'm plugging into um, and will then plug into one of the USB Type-C on my MacBook Pro. Now you notice I've not got any power plugged in on the other side of the screen, but give it a moment and actually the MacBook will power it. You can plug power into the side so that it's not draining your MacBook, um, but uh, you don't need to, which I think is really handy. So you can literally just take the screen and the cable with you and your laptop obviously uh, and connect it in as you need. So I'm going to try and show you how good the screen actually is. and. Uh, I honestly think it's a really nice screen, really nice. Now it's not a 4K screen, I just I find that the 4K demos are the nicest looking ones. So to go to the menus you press the rocker switch in to sort of select and then you can move up and down to change whatever you're looking at. So I'm going to turn the brightness right the way up and then you press the sort of power button is also the back button to come back out of whatever options you're in. So fairly easy to use. So the rocker button up and down press it in to select, up and down to adjust, and then the power button to go back. I don't know, hopefully you can see how good it really looks. Now, the speakers aren't great, I can't lie, um, but I didn't really get it for that. Honestly, it's more I'm so used to having dual screens on my PC that anytime I use my laptop, um, I want to have the option to have a second screen. I use my laptop mainly for coding, uh, and it's quite handy to either have my Udemy course running on the one screen while I've got the code running on the other, or sometimes if I'm using Android Studio and an emulator going as well, and you just need screen real estate, and it's kind of odd and almost hard to go back to one screen when you're so used to two. Um, as for why I've got a code on my laptop, it's actually it's Valorant's causing problems. I can't run an emulator on my PC unless I install a Valorant anti-cheat. So that's kind of forced, well not forced me, I don't mind using the laptop to code. Um, one problem, it's supposed to in theory be able to plug into all variety of different things. So in this instance, 
it should just plug straight into my phone and the phone screen would uh, be sort of mirrored. Um, it gives an error about sort of low, not enough power, so in theory then, okay, you plug the power in to the USB power port on the right hand side, then I'm going to plug the phone back in, but you still get the same error. Now I've tried to do a bit of research and it does look like this is a reasonably common issue unfortunately. And Lipo just say, oh you've probably got a dodgy port. But I don't really see how that can be the case when the laptop works through the port. Um, one positive, it does charge your phone. So if you're going through the screen when, the, when you plug the power into the screen, it will charge your phone, even charge it rapidly. Um, so just be aware yeah i'm not you might not have it working i'm sure lipo would try and help out if you did need it for your phone um, and it's a little frustrating because i'm sure it'd be kind of a handy thing to have at work and if i wanted to show people a presentation that i could just plug my phone into but the main reason for me was to be able to dual screen my laptop and for that it works really well i love that it comes with a sort of carry case almost well, not a carry case but just a cover that doubles as a stand and the screen looks fantastic um, so for £190 on Amazon, I think it's a pretty good buy if you are also after a second screen. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, but for now, my name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.